For the last couple of months I tortured this device. I had to print a couple of large models, some medium sized details as well as some pretty small ones. I gained quite an extensive set of impressions regarding this printer and I'm going to share them with you today. Full disclosure here, the printer was sent to me by Elegu free of charge but no money has changed hands so I have no obligation to say anything or hide anything. You will get my honest opinion formed from my experience I had using this machine. If you like what you see you can use the link in the description to purchase your own printer, get some discount and help the channel at no extra cost for you. Alright, the machine is very well packaged but be aware that it is somewhat heavy. Also make some room for it because the opening door extends the printer footprint significantly. All the loose components are stuffed inside the printer, so... The toolbox is fine, but if that was the build plate, I don't know, maybe one can have a bad day. A caution label would be nice here. This printer is packed with nice features, like the build plate which is laser etched which should provide excellent bed adhesion. The vat is nicely secured in place with some foam and why this is necessary we will see in a bit. It is also fastened with transport bolts and those should be replaced with the familiar thumb screws. There are several protective sheets that need to be peeled off before the printer becomes operational. One thing I don't like is that there is a max fill line only on one side of the vat but the vat can be installed both ways. On the other hand, there are pouring cutouts in the vat, which is welcome when the resin needs to get back into the bottle. Also, the vat gets perfectly located in place via four protruding bolt heads that get in corresponding slots in the base. The carriage moves up and down the screw on dual rail system, which I guess is better than a single rail system. To mount the build plate to the carriage, we have a lever instead of the more traditional screw. Before anything else, I made sure that the machine is level in its entirety. To help with that, Elegu equipped it with feet that can be twisted up and down. The leveling tool, however, is not included in the package. The next super important step is to calibrate the exposure time of your resin and layer height. Here Elegu implemented a solution that makes the task very simple and fast. We have the opportunity to test up to 8 different exposure times at the same time. You can imagine it saves some time. Another nice to have feature is the Wi-Fi connectivity. With that you get over the air updates of the firmware which in my experience is very important. Also, you can link your printer to the Chitu Manager and spy on your printing process using the built-in camera. Also, you can download the time-lapse videos of the larger prints. It has to be said that the camera needs some light source inside and that is not included. Otherwise, if it gets dark outside, you get nothing. Also, the quality of the image is not great. The camera is advertised with AI feature that can recognize failed prints and stop the process. But the cases in which this can work are so limited that I feel this more like a gimmick than a feature. Unfortunately, the printer and the computer need to be in the same network in order to communicate. I would like to see that change and to have true remote access to the machine. Each time the printer gets powered on, it gets through a self-testing cycle which is reassuring. Also, there is a built-in resin detection which will tell you when there is not enough resin for the print that you are trying to do. Before each print commences, there is also an auto-leveling procedure. This is nice to have, especially if you are new in the game, however, I would prefer to have the old-school manual leveling because this build plate holds a lot of resin and it is awkward to clean. One solution to this issue is to print one of the many aftermarket holders that fix the plate at an angle or vertically so that the excess resin can drain in the vat. To minimize the mess, Elegoo provides a drip tray which for me is a super convenient to have. Another useful feature 
is the power loss recovery. It is absolutely top priority to have that. It should be made clear that more than likely this is not going to work if you are printing the file directly from the memory stick. It is mandatory in my opinion to get the file in the internal memory of the printer. A couple of other notable upsides before I go to the most innovative feature of this machine. There is a built-in extraction system outlet in the case and the friction hinges of the lid work perfectly. Not only that they can hold the lid at almost any position but will also not allow it to slam shut. Now the piece do resistance. The tilting vat. This may or may not be the biggest step forward in the game but it is for sure very smart system. The tilting vat means that the fab is released from the cured resin a little bit at a time at an angle, much like pulling a band-aid. This reduces the peel force applied on the fab, prolonging its life, allowing faster print speeds and in my opinion increasing the chances for a successful print. I think it is a real step forward. Moreover, you lose half of the settings in G2 box, which means it gets much simpler to use. In conclusion, the combination of large build volume, excellent screen resolution and more importantly pixel size, all the new features, excellent build quality and competitive pricing make this machine a very good all-rounder. Should you wish to print a whole model, some figures or small detail pieces, the printer can do it all. My experience with it was overwhelmingly positive and I can recommend it with clean conscience. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, happy modeling fellas!